Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is We Are Genius. Guys, today again I am with a new video around ESP8266 where I will see how to flash NodeMCU firmware to ESP8266 module. NodeMCU firmware enables you to program the ESP8266 module by using the Lua scripting language. And NodeMCU is a Lua based firmware for the ESP8266 SOC which stands for Embedded Lua and offers full implementation of the Lua for embedded devices. So if you are familiar with Lua scripting language, you can definitely give it a try or can try if you are interested in or learning a new language. So being said that, let's get started guys. with computer so we are going to first try with 80 commands so we are going to need uh, one USB to UART module and that should have to be to 3.3 volt compatible so this one I am having from FTDI and it has one jumper so that makes me choose between 3.3 volt or 5 volt so I am going to use this one and this ESP266 module with one 3.3 separate power supply so it, the connections uh, seems to be look like this let's say it's a supply having 3.3 volt and ground so make it ground so over here on the UART module I'm going to make the ground common with the supply and I'll take the RX and TX so this one is RX this one is TX and on the ESP8266 module the connection goes like this the VCC connects to the 3.3 volt of your power supply module the ground connected connects to common ground with USB art module and as well as power supply the GPO15 has to be connected to ground only the TX pin goes to RX pin the RX pin of your ESP8266 goes to TX pin of the ESP UART module and once again the reset pin goes to VCC so if you are interested in uh, like making reset on all you just need to put on a switch to ground okay and this has to be connected through a register Okay, so what happens whenever you press a switch, the pin gets ground, so it gets reset. But as other time, it connected to uh, like a VCC through a register, so it don't reset. And whenever you press the ground, the voltage drop across the register, and the ESP8266 board gets reset. And one more, the enable pin has to be connected to VCC so to make it enable so over here also you can put a switch to VCC so that when you press the or the permanent switch then when you close the switch the board gets enabled and you can make out a connection of GPL0 which can be used for programming so this is right, right now not required but uh, when you are going to like upgrade farmers like node MCU or MicroPython we are going to use that so that's all with these connections so now we are going to make uh, some wire connections so we'll solder some cables onto it because we are not going to use made headers as it is not breadboard friendly the pitch over here between the different pins is not breadboard compatible so let's get connect some wires and we'll connect uh, the usb art module and everything and we'll connect it to a pc through a usb cable so let's get back to the soldering station and we'll do the wiring So guys, this is set up the way I have connected my ESP8266 that is over here, this one, uh, to my USB to UART module and uh, this all things are powered up by the SMPs modification that I have done using the 3.3 volt output of the SMPs. So this all again is connected to this USB cable, this one over here, to my PC. Uh, so guys, after doing the required connections, uh, let's try to flash node mcu onto the esp826 module so to get started with that we need to download some tools from uh, node mcu github repository 
so to do that let's browse on to nodemcu github repository that is github.com slash node mcu now inside node mcu flasher we need to download the tool that will be used to flash our firmware to the esp 26 module so over here you can choose either win32 or win64 uh, like releases so i'll go with yep i'll go with win32 because mine is a 32 bit system so if you are using 64 bit windows 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 system we should go with win64 click on this and uh, that click on download then this or uh, then we are done with this tool now after this we need to download esplorer which is a tool that will be used to upload our lua scripts onto the node mcu esp8266 module so to do that navigate to this particular website over here uh, that is esp8266.ru slash esplorer for which i have given the link down below in the description so navigate to this page particularly over here and uh, under yep here over here you can download the esplorer tool now we are done with tools and we can basically flush our esp826 module with lua or the node mc firmware but uh, if you are uh, interested in the latest version of the firmware again you need to navigate into the github repository of node mcu get into node mcu navigate into node mcu firmware select dev okay and over here under religious uh you'll see the different released versions but thing is now they are not providing the compiled binary on the github repo so you can download the source codes and compile it yourself or you can uh, like download one earlier version like over here uh, you can download the 0.9.6 that is from 2015 actually or one more thing is uh, they are providing some tools online tools where you can select the customization they, that you want onto the node mcu firmware and they will compile it for you and you can download it then so let's see how to do that Okay, yeah. on over here, uh, on the GitHub page, you'll uh, see something like, uh, yep, get into the build the firmware, then, over here you'll see cloud build service, so go, go ahead with that, and here over here you can find the different options that you can check on and the compiled firmware for will be uh, like provided to you so that you can flash your esp 26 with required functionalities uh, so to do that i'll just need to enter my email id or you can go with master no issue uh, it says master is the latest release okay uh, on dev i think you'll uh, get uh, like a uh, latest builds or latest development to uh, going on so when i click this i get some other functionalities okay okay no issue i'll go with master over here and uh, for this particularly i need i'm going with http i2c i'll not use mqtt net node p 
PCM top VWM rotary SNTP SPI I'll go with this you what web socket I'll go with and I'll go with end user setup uh, then if you want other functionalities like SSL support or if you want to on debug and other all other things you can check out yourself what that does then click on start on your build so when the build finishes they are going to send you an email which uh, like will be like with a, I think so I suppose with a download link where you can download your build so till then if you want to try out what uh, the explorer or uh, esp 2 c flasher comes with the default binaries you can definitely upload those binaries or you can go ahead with older releases like 2015 as I said earlier you can download the particular binary and you can upload it uh, so let's start with installation of this ESP8266 flusher tool uh, so this is uh, basically a GUI where we can flash the binary onto our ESP8266 module. Uh, so select your COM port where your ESP8266 module is connected to your PC. So if you are uh, like uh, you will get uh, like a drop down like this with listed COM port. So you can ch if you are having multiple drop down options you can go ahead with my computer config uh, my computer advanced and there you can uh, like see which uh, serial port you have connected onto the ESP8266 model then over here go to config and like if you have uh, your own binary or own binary file which you have downloaded from server or somewhere you can select the binary by clicking this settings icon over here and you need to browse your binary file that is uh, seems to be dot bin file okay and all like this select all other uh, options over here or other paths over here okay select the address 00, 0 that is the starting address then over here you can select the baud rate then about log other things okay you can click on flash that should uh, like uh, flash the node mc firmware over here to the ESP8266 module but uh, to do that we need to reset our ESP8266 module with GPIO0 connected to ground so let's connect GPIO0 to ground and restart our ESP8266 module Now you can see it is showing up the MAC address of our ESP8266 module over here the AP mode and STA mode whatever is there okay and you will see uh, a like progress bar like this which will show you the progress okay now you can check log it will show you program flash success on all those things let's wait till it finish okay we are good to go so we have flushed the firmware onto the esp 2 c module now let's open up the other tool that is the explorer which will help us to put our lua script onto the node mc or esp 2 c module over here click on the jar file yep now you can see we are ready to go uh, so guys this is the explorer tool and uh, you can see different options over here you can send out 80 commands uh, these are RN2824 commands uh, 
so I'm not used to with this you can send out editing command then you can send out node MCU and micro Python scripts uh, so let's open up com 16 I need to disconnect the GPIO 0 and uh, I have reset my module and you'll see a prompt like this so over here there are some commands which you can try with without uploading your Lua script uh, so let's try some like uh, yfafp.getmac this will return you the access point MAC address or the AP mode MAC address then uh, we can try out some other commands uh, like station dot get status that is 5 mm, chip info uh, you can see different informations over here chip ID flash ID if search uh, the, then you can connect to your Wi-Fi network by in this command over here Wi-Fi sta.config so this will uh, config in station mode and will uh, like connect to your Wi-Fi then over here you can see uh, different commands for setting up different modes like if you are uh, like uh, interested in configuring in station mode or let's say uh, access point mode or in both so you can configure accordingly and uh, you have other commands too it, you can see over here it is showing you of the IP of your ESP2 system model okay uh, I can set timer now okay this is timer value right now uh, so okay let's try to create a simple lua script file and we'll upload and run it on ESP8266 module uh, so I'll start with some basic commands uh, like uh, first we'll configure into Wi-Fi wi access point or uh, sorry station mode to do that I'll write Wi-Fi dot uh, you can uh, check a uh, different commands from over here set mode Wi-Fi dot station so you can write something like this set mode Wi-Fi dot station then Uh, we'll uh, configure with the SS, uh, SSID and password of our Wi-Fi connection that is Wi-Fi dot STA dot config Then it will take two parameters that is your uh, SSID and password. So then you can have like Wi Fi dot. STA dot connect one so this will uh, make the Wi-Fi connection auto connect whenever our ESP2 module finds this Wi-Fi network or the SSID you can see then we will create a variable that will contain the IP address so local IP equals to Wi-Fi dot st ta dot get 
IP. Uh, this one is small one actually. Yep. Then if IP uh, not equals to nil, then we'll print out the IP address. Right out then, then end of this statement. Uh, so this is a simple uh, like Lua script. Uh, let's upload it. Uh, so first we'll uh, have a save and run. Save and compile. Okay, we need to save it as dot lua file so I'll uh, save it on desktop demo dot lua you can give it any name okay we'll do one thing uh, we'll uh, is showing error near this again I have to check for different commands on Lua or different expressions on Lua yep we can see it has uh, successfully uploaded the file uh, then uh, let's try to run it to run the particular file we can use command do file demo dot lua okay. yep over you can see it has successfully printed out the IP uh, as we have written on our script again you can uh, add a uh, certain uh, like uh, test cases and all those things onto the script to make it more robust uh, so and uh, you can try out other functionalities provided by Lua and you can uh, like go through those in meantime so that's all for today guys uh, hope you have enjoyed it uh, hope more I'll be coming with more videos around this Lua and ESP 26 module till then goodbye thanks for watching thank you see you next time